Hey everybody, this is Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about a VST plugin effect called Isotope Vinyl. I was doing an, uh, another video and I had my effects open, and someone noticed that I had Isotope Vinyl on there and they, they wanted to know what that was. So uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It's a pretty cool little uh, VST effect, effect that you can add to Virtual DJ and to uh, a lot of other uh, DAWs and stuff that uh, will handle VST, uh, Virtual DJ being one of them. And um, what Isotope Vinyl does is it takes your tracks and really makes it very low-fi and uh, so if you're trying to it's great if you're trying to like say make a sample and you want to make that sample sound like you sampled it from a turntable uh, you can use isotope vinyl for that or if you just have a section that you want to make really low-fi uh, you can use it for that too so let's go ahead and open it up um, instead of just activating it uh, well we can activate it but I'm going to click this plus button which is going to show the interface here Move it right to the center. Now, uh, one thing I'll, I'll say up front, um, all these knobs, one of them is warp depth. Uh, not every system will support warp depth. In fact, my system is obviously one of them because the little knob is missing. So if yours doesn't, don't worry about it. Uh, what warp does is it just uh, lets you warp through some of the different settings. Uh, but we'll go through some of the other ones. Now, most of these only affect the audio while it's playing, but some of them will affect the audio even when you're not playing a track. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over so we can see our track a little bit here. Um, so let's go through these. Um, first of all, uh, it needs to be on. There's on and there's bypass. So see, now I have bypass activated. Let's turn it back on again. Now you're going to want to pay special attention to these right here because uh, as you modify these changes, it's going to change the output gain uh, beyond the gain control that you set here in your game in the mixer and it can cause your system to clip. So you want to make sure that you don't do that. Um, so, uh, so let's go ahead and um, go through some of these settings. This one is mechanical noise. You can see this is one that uh, it, it sounds exactly like what is mechanical noise. You can hear it. Let me turn it all the way up. And that's one obviously that works without the track even playing. Uh, the next one that you have is where. Now where you're going to need the, the system to be, to be running. Let me go ahead and play it and then I'll put where up and down. bypass so you can hear it with that up. Okay, so let's turn that off. So, and wear just sounds exactly like what it sounds like you have like a lot of bad record wear. Uh, next one is electrical noise. Use this one sparingly because it, it does generate, it generates a hum on the track. And you can, you can hear it. it's another one. It doesn't need to be used while it's playing. Okay, now the next two, let's skip over real quick because we're going to come back to them. Um, next, let's go to here where it says year. This is the year that the vinyl was made. And uh, it's going to change kind of how the song sounds depending on, on the year it is. 1930 is going to be super lo-fi. And it's going to automatically switch it to mono, which I kind of suggest you switching it to, to mono anyway. Uh, but you don't have to. Um, uh, if you're doing, if you're in a recording situation where you, this is going to be something that people are going to be listening to on their uh, their, their stereos um, you can leave a stereo but if you're going to be doing um, something that you're going to be using this as a as a live plugin um, I would leave it as mono um, so let's go through let's go we'll jump right to 1930 we'll hear how that sounds just bypass it So, so 1930 is kind of the worst setting. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump through and you're going to see how they go. When it gets to 2000, it's going to be pretty clear. All right, so you can you can hear as you twisted it, it made everything just sound a, uh, a little bit better because as... 
technology uh, went up, you know, they're trying to simulate, you know, if you're trying to simulate something that sounded more from the 70s or whatever, if I'm going real lo-fi, I jump usually right to 1930s. Um, and then the other uh, button over here is the rotation. Now, the rotation doesn't actually affect the audio so much. In fact, let's go ahead and play it. If I turn these here, the audio does not change at all. What they do is they go for these two knobs right here. And because um, one is dust, and we all know what dust is. When you get dust in your, your LPs, it, it uh, well, let's go ahead and play it now. Let's, let's hear it. And you'll, <laughs> for you, uh, 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 and you can even hear it uh, when it's turned off. And uh, that's the dust in the record. And what this does is because typically you got 33, but there's also 45s, and then back in the day, 78s. And this is going to affect how how fast that dust moves. So let's go ahead and switch it to 45. You're going to see that uh, it increases. Now it's moving faster, 78. Faster even still. Now, uh, dust, I usually put it like 50% to 70%, you know, because you, you kind of don't want the different effects to overpower the actual sample, you know. Uh, the next one is scratch. This is another one. I usually, uh, each one of these tick marks uh, equals how many scratches there are. And uh, when you have it all the way up to 10, sometimes it's, it's difficult to hear the audio. Um, and what this does is it basically it, it kind of mutes the audio for like a split second as if you're, you got a little scratch on it and it's jumping over it. Uh, so let's go ahead and play it and we'll, we'll hear that. You can see that thing uh, clicking. There you, go. you can hear how bad it is with, with that 10. It makes, it makes the audio practically unusable. As I turn the gain up, it just sounds awful. So we're going to, I just move it to no, we're going to move it to one. With one, it's okay, you can hear that click. And here too, as we, uh, if we move this from 33 to 45, you'll be able to hear this right here. So you can, and when you hear it, it mutes the audio and it puts that little click in. See, seven, go to 78, you can hear. Because if you were playing a, a record player that was uh, at 78 rotations per minute, that's what it's going to sound like. Where if you're playing a standard LP at 33, that's what it's going to sound like because that's every time the needle hits that scratch on the record. So if you do use that, I would use it as lowest setting and, you know, I'll put it somewhere down here. So, um... So that's how all the different functions work, but let's go ahead and, and we're going to combine some of them and we're going to try and make this, uh, this sound really lo-fi. And I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to set this into a loop so that way it doesn't get into, into this thing. Alright, we got a little 4 beat loop going. Alright, so it's a We're going to turn this down. One thing I'll tell you too about these knobs where virtual DJ if you grab a knob and move it all the way up move it all the way down uh, it's gonna turn that knob for you this one you actually have to like grab the knob and turn it uh, to make it do what it wants to do so it doesn't function the same as the knobs in virtual DJ so if it if it seems to act weird to you that's why um, so let's go let's go back to playing this we're gonna put to 1970s okay in 1970s you can kinda hear you got that like hollowed out bass sound let's add just a little bit of mechanical noise wear now with wear you're gonna hear that uh, on on top of it adding the wear noise that uh, it's also gonna uh, mute the audio a little bit and when we do that you, you notice on here that the output has gone down okay because the volume has gone down so to add just a little bit of electrical noise our right, dust okay and we're, we'll put in just one scratch We're going to uh, turn this output gain up just a little bit. Usually when I'm playing with this, I don't have to turn the output gain up. Usually I have to bring it down because it shoots all the way up to the red. Because our goal here is to make sure that uh, the output does not clip into the red. So we're going to turn this up just a hair. Okay, it's going to the red. Just go back down a little bit. Because you want it to stay in the green and then occasionally maybe pump it to the yellow. 
So I like this one as soon as you see it's green and it usually hits the yellow. So I'm turning that up just a little bit. Keep in mind, once you make these changes, you're going to have to change uh, change this. So anyway, so now we can hear it. It does sound like we're playing this off some old, dirty vinyl. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to turn this off. So, we so that's isotope vinyl. And uh, let me give you a good example of how you can use it uh, as an effect. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to make some changes because what we're going to do is we're going to turn into a, a lo-fi section because uh, what we did there was we made it uh, simulate vinyl but as you can hear there you don't want all that noise and stuff like that not for a lo-fi mode because then it just, just sounds bad so we're going to open it back up now we're going to show you how to do it as a lo-fi mode I'm going to go straight to 1930 take mechanical noise off, take wear off, take electrical noise off I'm going to take dust off, I'm going to take scratch off Okay, and we're just going to go with this 19 uh, 30 mode. Uh, we're gonna because we're in 1930. We're gonna have to play with our, our gains again. Let's set it up. See, it's way too high here. We're gonna put it back down. There we go. Uh, so we got set back to whoops. We set it back to zero. Back to zero percent. Also, we're gonna leave it at 33. We can hit bypass and make it so it sounds how we want it. We'll go ahead and switch it to mono because we're gonna say that we're in a club. Go ahead and turn this off. So, so here you are. You're in a, at an event and you're you're playing and. Uh, our loop off. So anyway, that's how you can use uh, isotope vinyl as a lo-fi effect versus using it as, as trying to simulate vinyl. Now to get isotope vinyl for yourself, uh, all you have to do is, the uh, best way to find it is just Google isotope vinyl. It'll take you right there. And uh, to get it, um, you can download it for free, but to use it, you're going to have to register it just to give you a heads up. And just, you're going to have to put in your email and all that stuff. And once you register it, it's going to email you back a code. So the first time you use it, it's going to ask you for that code before it'll let you use it. And if you don't, if you put it into Virtual DJ and you don't put in the code, Virtual DJ is going to put up a little error that says incompatible plugin. Uh, when you look in your plugin menu. So just to give you a heads up, it just means you didn't add the code, but you put in the code and it'll work fine. So that's it for me. I'm Echo Papa. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. If you like this video, uh, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or better yet, subscribe. Uh, until next time, I'm Echo Papa and I will talk to you guys later.